Hi, uh, I'm Ahmed Bukhari, the Editor-in-Chief of Rheumatology, and I'm here talking really about abstracts and how you can actually put an abstract together. I think you really have to start to think how can you t put a huge body of work and try and put it into you know fairly small and concise communication. And if you think about it, think like the Americans do, that you're going to pitch an idea to somebody in the time it takes you to go up for a few flights of stairs in a lift uh, or an elevator, and you basically have to think how can I actually put all of my ideas into a very small area so that people can understand what happens. Uh, the important bit of the abstract is first you set the scene, you say here's the background and here's what is known and what isn't known. You then have to have a very specific aim to say I wanted to answer this very specific question you, and you then say to answer the specific question I used this method to do this analysis to actually come up with this result. And the important thing is that it should really all flow naturally. So the background should flow immediately into the aim of what you're doing and your methods should really be how you explain the aim and what population you're going to do. Big pitfalls are that very frequently people start off with one, one thing and end up talking about something completely different. It needs to all be a very coherent story. Here's what's known, here's what isn't known, here's what I wanted to ask, here's how I addressed it, and here are my results. The biggest pitfalls that we find in abstracts is very frequently somebody will not have any numbers of patients in the abstract, will not have a very coherent picture of saying, here's what I did, here's what I found, and here's what it means. And these are the four things that will always be uh, important in an abstract is, what is known, what isn't known, what I tried to answer, what I did manage to answer, here's the results, and here's what my results mean. And if you put all of those in an abstract, I think the abstract will always be nice and coherent. Remember the adage is that any manuscript lives by the abstract and dies by the abstract. So if an abstract is not clear, very frequently reviewers will reject a lot of papers out of hand because the abstract doesn't really explain what's in the paper. And importantly, very frequently, you might find manuscripts where there's a lot more in the manuscript than there is in the abstract. But if it's not articulated in the abstract, people tend not to look at what, why there's a lot more detail was put in, because it doesn't fit in with the concise story of, you know, here's what I did, here's what we found, here's what what we found means. And that's the important things to put in.